I mean, if I was playing myself, I'd always say according to my character sheet, Owen but... Owen stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. Sounds right. True story. Yep. What? You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Okay. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgeron. The unscarred. Durgeron with two U's. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. That was one U. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? I mean, loot sounds great, but I guess we'll free the prisoners. Guess it's time to free some peeps. I mean, Let's go to the prison camp. I guess. You behold a field of standing iron cages, really like that each imprisoning though. a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, so and he's in dead. terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin You're are dead like to me, Chloe. little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! Awesome. The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any hmm. useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that you wouldn't don't. blow up the cage and everything in it. Don't keep spells in the robe. I mean, obviously I'm gonna do a back talk, so... Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. That... You can try. Just be you. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Oh, snap. Shit. Really? Mm. Now he can understand every word you say. Good looking out, Elamon. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, mm -hmm. nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? I think that's obvious. Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. I want Chloe that was to be my PC. <laughs> the dragonkin growls, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. I thought that was Tall pretty effective. One is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. Okay, um... You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. She's playing a barbarian, no, isn't no. she? No, Please don't do that. Still, I cannot give key. Durgeron will eat me. Durgeron with two years. I close to breaking. Come on, one more. I twirl my axe around, badass style. Eat this, lizard! Is badass a style? How badass. Really badass. Yeah. Super badass. 17. That's pretty badass. That's right, 17. The dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Mm -hmm. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Chloe is an elf barbarian. Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a... Plus 10 bonus to charisma. Is that even possible? Go ahead and roll. It's deserved, though. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands and trembling, me. it hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Checks out. Awesome. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. This is the you bad guy speech. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. Correct. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. 
That sounds sweet. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, Durgeron with holding two years. up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. Well, that's convenient. All of my battle spells are fire based. Well, that Except was just poor for, planning. You know, acid blast. Which someone yeah. used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Oops. Calamastia? What'll it be? Alright, well, these all sound great, so, uh. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, Annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! Mm hmm. One? Or not. That's bad, right? Not for me. Oh, she's out. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock. Collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. That always goes well. Oh no. Mm. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's This leg. is very real. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. So real. Wow. These predetermined numbers are really doing a number on you. This game is awesome. My feet? These are all great options, but, I mean, obviously you know what I'm gonna pick, so... I, uh, I don't know. Shit. I dance to distract him. You dance to distract yeah. him? I'm doomed. Sixteen? What? What? It's great. Your crappy, arrhythmic dancing is weirdly mesmerizing to Durgeron. Mm -hmm. He pauses with his sword in midair for ten seconds, buying Elmon time to crawl away. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring okay. it. Okay. He charges, oh, that's never good. thrusting madly with his great sword. Well, this is gonna end well. Shit! Oh, mm -hmm. no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, oh. lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel Things you your only hear in a role-playing game. Away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air, it hurts like hell. No. What do you do? Obviously swing for the head. I take one last swing at Durg... Dur Dur faces head. Dur head's you have to face. Roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Eh, I'm sure she'll get hmm. better. Eleven. Maybe not. You swing, catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. Mm. What an asshole! He's the he villain. He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm That's sorry. That's why he Chloe. has the extra you. I have to escape. Hey man, if you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. No, go all Leroy Jenkins. That was fun. Check out what I drew. <laughs> I liked when my character died. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. It'll look good on your headstone, <laughs> Calamastia. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. If I ever play a barbarian, I want to name her Chloe. We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? Buried the lead there. I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. I, I forgot I did that. Yeah, it Sorry. totally slipped my mind. It's cool. BT dubs, I'm alive again. Elamon comes around a corner to discover Calamastia, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. <laughs> Classic elf barbarian. Uh, <laughs> greetings, powerful Elamon. 
from whence do you run? Uh, uh, float. Or whatever. Funny you should ask. I'm being chased by an army of dragonkin. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. Oh. And they're after me now. Still worth it. Sounds like you could use a hand from your favorite elf barbarian. Well, you did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on everything. If I pick the forest, do I have to start singing into the woods? All right. To the forest it is. I'll take the Let's risk. Go. As soon as you enter the shade of the great trees, it becomes eerily silent and very cold. Yeah, this you notice have gone well. the stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The stones lead you to the center of the forest, where you see a mysterious glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. A forest idol? Hmm? I could use that to regrow my feet. <laughs> Help me steal it. Is, is this like a Chia Pet idol? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now this is my kind of skill challenge. Yeah. Awesome. Roll for idol theft. That's an oddly specific <laughs> skill. 20. You find a log on the ground and pick it up. Ever so slowly, you lift the idol and slide the log into its place. Sweat pours down your face. You wait. But nothing happens. Mm. No net appears to catch you. No blow darts shoot from the trees. The boulder? The idol is yours. <laughs> oh, Fuck yeah. yeah. Nice. You Indiana Jones the shit out of that. Using yeah, the idol, l channels the, the energy of the forest. I... Fog sweeps in from all around, obscuring his legs. When the fog rolls out, Elamon has a brand new pair of feet. Feet. Ch -ch 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 -chia. Yes, finally. So this says I have some special kind of magical frost sword that does some uh, ice slice thing. It's called ice I'm slice. I'm doing that. Here we go. A 20? Shit. That's good, right? Yes. Durgaron, roll to reduce damage. I mean, 20 is good in most systems. I... Don't know about this one. You pull out your magically frozen blade and then unleash the ice slice to end all other ice slices. Ice slice. We just love Durgaron saying ice slice. Takes 21 damage, but is still standing strong. Uh -oh. I'll swing my giant ass sword at your head. This is why Durgaron has two use. The elf just manages to duck under your blade, avoiding damage, but getting a pretty nasty haircut. Uh oh. You'll pay for that. Don't mess with Chloe's hair. I learned that much from Life is Strange. I feel like Rage Slam might be good. <laughs> Bring it. Channeling your immense fury, you try to lift Durgaron into the air for a body slam. Badass style. I love this badass 12. style. Uh, 16? Durgaron stronger than you think. There should be a he barbarian your badass grip and style. lifts you up, throwing you through the air easily. Ha! Bullshit. You land in an embarrassingly awkward way. Take five damage. Five embarrassment I damage. I take it all back. This game is dumb. I kick her while she's down. <sighs> Make that 16 damage. This is usually where new back players peace out. I call upon Elamon. Help an elf out. Skull bomb. Yes. Wait, skull bomb? I ignite a very small sun inside my enemy's head. Yeah. Though his bracer shields him from the heat. Skull bomb. The gravitational force of the sun causes Durgaron's head to implode until it disappears with a bloody pop. So that's like a level <laughs> 10 spell. Finally. Whew. Man. Finally. That was like two seconds. Yeah. I barely got to play. Welcome to Nicely Tabletop. Done, Alamon. If Durgaron's dead, With two years. I grab his bracer. Oh, yeah. The the bracelet of fire resistance. No. Bracer of fire immunity. Yeah. Whatever. As the dragon can ahead There's prepare a difference. to attack, the army of undead arrive behind you. 
You've made a lot of enemies on We're this surrounded quest. and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. If it's fire-based, <sighs> apparently that's all he's I do got. Have searing crystal. Perfect. Mm. Searing crystal, these fuckers. You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like, like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything, including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's bracer of fire immunity. Not resistance. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Yeah. Problem solved. Well, not really. But there's only one bracer. Well, Calamastia lived like a barbarian, and it only makes sense to die like one, too. I'll hold them off so you can survive. The flames descend over the meadow, bathing everything in liquefying arcs of infernal chaos. Monsters begin screaming in agony. Bad ass. Chloe. You've got one final moment before your angry elven body is burned away forever. Any last words? For the next game, can we play Bunkers and Badasses? Tina would love the company. <sighs> I turn to Alamon and say, Thank you. Before the flames burn me away forever. That's Elamon sad. rolls not to cry. Fail. <laughs> I rolled a three. The spell commences. comes to a spectacular climax, until all you can see is white. Then, all is calm. All is quiet. All is ash. Damn. Mm. Congratulations, Alamon. You, you have completed everything. Revenge of the Dragonkin. That's it? She's dead? Everything and the game's dead. over? Yep. And Elamon's left alone once again. Because you destroyed everything it with was fire. It fun having a companion while it lasted. Well, but you burned her in the fire, so... What if I make a new character? Wait. Really? You want to keep playing? Sure. This Seeing is everything on dope. fire is the most realistic part of this game. That was a pretty intense one. Mm. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. Yes, it is the least that me and 9% of the other players could do. This is the most agonizing decision I've had to make in this game. What am I going to wear? Did I go with, like... Hipster Lumberjack, uh, shopping the bargain bin at Hot Topic. Oh, perfect. Cut content Final Fantasy character. Square Enix makes Life is Strange, don't they? <laughs>